In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! It seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know we should have checked in, but we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Savathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's... something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights. And it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Savathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Savathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen, Hive God of Cunning and Lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource, the one thing we thought she could never touch. 
the light. before it happened. My own death, brought on by the separation from my power. And in these final moments, I looked to the sky. Hello, old friend. I've chased you for a long time. First as an enemy, then as a collector, and finally, now, a supplicant. What is it the Guardians say? Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice... <coughs> that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start. But if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave! You're saying Savathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, 
was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with a the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Savathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right, how do we stop this? I'm not sure yet, but I know where to find out. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm, a prophecy of great loss. We will feed her fear, her pride. We will say, young Sathona, the end is coming. Great cataclysm. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Salathun. Were tricked. The hive were lied to. Isn't this interesting? I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. 
so protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Where did her ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse. The very parasite that once plagued the Witch Queen herself. Queen Mara. Good to see you. Do not delay us with pleasantries. This parasite knocks at death's door. What use do we have for Savathun's dying worm? This parasite is an opportunity to learn from humanity's greatest failure. Our collapse. But not ours alone. That day was as much a failure for the wit. Are you okay? I'm fine. As I said, our collapse was as much a failure for the witness and its followers. Savathun included. Savathun was there? On behalf of the witness. But something prevented humanity's end. Something known by Savathun and... Her worm. It requires strength and a new host to survive, to divulge its secrets. But that's a death sentence. For most, yes. But for the Queen of the Awoken? It's worth the risk. Intentions aside, Salvathun is solely responsible for her own ruin. If only we'd known the flood she was holding back. These things don't see themselves as gods, no. They believe themselves so much more than that. And yet, with all that power, 
It was wielders of light and dark, saviors of humanity who brought them down. Regardless of victory, we must remember that was only a taste of success, barely achieved. There will be more, and the power they hold will pale in comparison to that of their maker, the Witness. We must now face an inevitable truth. The Witness and its followers, they're coming. All of them. And when they get here, we'll finish what they started.